Hi guys, welcome back to the Lara Studios. We're going to finish up the movie app. Uh, in this particular session, we'll be uh, consuming, like observing the view model. In the previous video, uh, we actually talked about how to integrate the room uh, persistence uh, database, how to set up uh, the view model, and uh, we replaced the direct uh, interaction uh, with uh, the database using the room persistent library so we actually covered that in the previous video i will employ you to check out that if you just uh checking this uh for the first time uh right now we'll be illustrate to how to observe on those data save to the sqli database you know uh, we have that those bunch of favorite movies saved and we need to visualize them in the emulator right there we don't have any video in the movie in the favorite db we have video in the favorite db rather but we are yet to observe them correctly uh at the state of this particular uh favorite uh movies uh layout let's get to see it nothing is being displayed because we're yet to observe correctly on the saved data so we're going to actually be interacting uh, with uh, the DAO, which is the data abstract object, using the view model. So it's going to have uh, where we are set up the live data and at the same time, we are observing on uh, the, the view model. So we'll, I'll be showing you on how to get this done in the moment right there. In the main activity, uh, if you notice, I actually uh, comment out the line 3492 line 361 uh, where we get doing background uh we need to fetch the all favorite from the db upper uh we set that to a list and uh in turn we actually notify the data set change on the adapter so that that first data will be displayed now this flow is going to change we need to observe to the view model we have the main view model right there We've declared this earlier on. Uh, well, you need to create an object of the view model. You call on the view model providers uh, by calling the Ds. You may decide to use, uh, probably you have the factory somewhere. Uh, you may decide to include the factory here as well. This command factory depends on how you're injecting the view model. You get the main view model, uh, which uh, we have over here right there where we get to uh, set up the load all favorite from the DAO, the favorite DAO, down to the live data favorite, uh, having the favorite entry podio as uh, the consuming uh, certain getter. So you have that set up right there. So we need to just observe on the live data. After that, you need to get the favorite from the view model and you observe on these. In turn, you instantiate the observer that does the list factory, which is uh, the live data list. And uh, you need to override the unchanged method. So if there's any changes uh, on the DB where the live data is listening to, it's going to actually observe that and pick that on the fly. And it's going to survive any configuration changes in Android. Probably you're rotating the device or you're doing some manipulation and the, the data still continue to persist, uh, which is consistent. Uh, now we need to uh, consume this. We are having a favorite entry, which is quite different from the movie. Uh, Pojo that we need to use because right there we have the implementation, the favorites, the, mo the most rated and the popular, which you need to use the same flow. You need to use the movie uh, Pojo to depict that. And right there we are expecting the data in the favorite entry Pojo. How are you going to do this? The only way you could actually do this is easily. You set up the list. This is the movie list we are trying to have, trying to populate, which is going to set to the adapter. You use the for loop, which you're going to loop through the image entries, which is for the least favorite. Extract the necessary values. Set that to uh, an object of the movie. In turn, you add all those objects to the list. That's all. So with that, you set up a for loop to iterate through the image entries, which is a favorite entry, uh, generic class. Uh, in turn, you create a movie, instantiate a movie class, uh, where you're going to use the set and get uh, set up in the movie uh, class, which you have right there in the, in, in the directory. What you're going to do, we need the movie ID, you need the overview, 
you need the title which is the original title of the movie you need the poster part and probably uh the the vote average or plot synopsis if you uh, also need you can also get the plot synopsis as well uh, so you're going to do something of this nature you call the set id which is actually going to set the id to pass in the entry when you that's the object of that's an entry in the image entries uh so you get the movie id to that you get the overview you get the title you get the poster part you get the user rating so i'm going to get uh the plot synopsis uh you could just call the movie object again over here dirt set oh we don't have a plot synopsis over here right let me get to look at the movie class itself oh probably we have a plot synopsis okay we have the vote average the original title the backdrop popularity and so on okay we are not having a plot synopsis uh in the air the vote average and so on. so cool but with the little you have right there it's enough for you to set that to the adapter since that's what the adapter the uh the adapter which is the movie's adapter over here that's listening to because the movie adapter needs uh the original title of the vote average uh, which is also the user rating the post part so that's just what it needs which in turn is going to set that to an intent to the detail activity for our display so you are cool that's okay uh with that you now set the list which is the movies you add all objects of the movie created to the list so that's going to form a readable and a usable movies so now you're getting you you're extracting uh the movie uh from the favorite entry that's just what you're doing and after that you set up the adapter to set movies this is a method sitting in the adapter we'll get to look at the method set movies what's the method doing over here in line 58 the method takes uh the list movie the list of movie as the parameter and it sets that to uh the movie list declared earlier which serves as the content value that will be set to the adapter you need to trigger the notified data set change because at this point in time you're changing where the data where the data is being gotten uh ideally it's actually passed through the constructor which is the movie is adapter but now you're taking another turn to set the list to something different from the set movies which is from the favorite uh, flow so you need to set the notified data set change to trigger the change of content at a point in time with that you have to you have it set up and that's cool uh, i'll be showing this in an emulator after that uh in the next video we'll be talking about how to persist the list itself using our uh, service to state and uh, how to handle uh the, the the state of scroll when it comes to the recycle view you need to know uh probably if you are in line line, line six of the list anytime you're changing configuration you're changing uh, the rotation or you're going back and you're moving into uh, the list you should maintain that same scroll position uh, so we'll be handling that and we'll be changing the flow of the settings activity we're going to make it uh, look kind of uh, much okay than what it is uh, set a to a, a toolbar top and let the state of the of the list be showed in the uh flow in the in the picker so once you get to the settings you know oh, you are right in the movie before you even select uh the the toggle uh you know you are right in the in the most treated before you take an action to do other things now i'm going to run this on the emulator so we're going to see how it's going to be observed correctly on the um the favorite session so let me quickly run this on the emulator and I'll get that to show quickly. So we're going to be observing that since we've set up the observable uh, quite correctly. Uh, so we're going to look at how it's actually going to show uh, on the movie. So cool. Let's get to uh, size dispersions to actually get this uh, built up and get that displayed uh, with the power of the room, the persistence uh, database and uh, the live data which actually is going to 
I keep observing and the latest change in the DB uh, without you uh, even uh, doing any form of uh, calling since you've been observing to the live data it's actually going to give the, the, the content uh, the fresh content will be delivered to the UI for the display so that's just what the live data does and that's the edge live data has all, all unlike the ordinary call that you, you're used to so we'll be talking more about the uh, the Android architecture of Kaponet, which has actually come to stay and it's in a stable version which is uh, it has been added to the app compact and uh, you could uh, use the app compact activity uh, unlike when it was using the life cycle activity so now you could use the app compact and it's going to work perfectly I will be talking a lot about it in, in subsequent videos even when we are in using Kotlin to uh, get uh, some implementation done. Uh, we'll be looking majorly on uh, the Android architecture framework and its uh, components alongside. So let's get to see uh, the installation and uh, we'll, we'll look at what we have in the favorite database, uh, in the favorite table. Uh, we'll get to look at that in uh, some moment now. So we'll be exercising more seconds to get that within the emulator. Here we go. Now it's displayed. We only have one one selected movie, Avengers: The Infinity Wars. So let's go and pick one more, so that we could know that this is actually working perfectly. Uh, if we go back to the search order, let's go back to the most popular, so that we could be able to select something different. Let's go select the Black Panther. All right. Click on Black Panther. Now let's pick it up, save that, add it to the favorites, get back to the view. Now we'll go to toggle to the favorites and see what we have. Favorite movies. Went back. Now we have the Black Panther also added as the favorite. So thank you very, very much for hanging out with me throughout this video. Don't go anywhere. We still have a lot to talk about in the movie app. Thank you very much. Bye-bye for now.